Hi everyone, so you may or may not know, but Valentine's Day is pretty much just around the corner. So today I have a Valentine's Day inspired makeup look for you all. Also, please excuse the kind of huskiness in my voice. I've been sick recently, so that is the reason for that and the blocked nose. So the look I've come up with today is really quite pink inspired, so I've taken the pink aspect of Valentine's Day and kind of just put it on my face. It has pink winged eyeliner, quite glowy and dewy skin, and then I show you a few options for the lips. This is just overall an inspired look, it's not really for a particular event. All the products I use will be listed down in the description box below along with my Facebook and Twitter links if you want to add and follow me on there. Other information will be down there as well so definitely check it out. Also let me know down in the comments below whether you like or don't like Valentine's Day. Either way is fine. And if you have some plans I hope you have a wonderful time and if you don't that doesn't matter it's just another day and you know, getting caught up in Valentine's Day I don't think is really worth it. If you want to celebrate it, you can celebrate it, but if you don't want to, that's fine either. You don't have to hate it as well. Whatever feelings you feel are the right feelings as long as you're not hurting yourself or others. So let's get on to the video. I really hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye! So I'm starting out by taking the Benefit Professional Primer and just applying that all over my face to create a smooth base for my makeup and also ensure that it lasts longer. Then I'm also spraying my face with a little bit of Max Fix Plus to hopefully uh, make my foundation go on a little smoother and prep my skin for all my base products. For foundation, I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and I'm just applying that all over with a MAC 188 brush to kind of stipple and buff it in. And for concealer underneath my eyes, I'm using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. This one's a little salmony tone, so that's going to cancel out the darkness underneath my eyes. Now setting that in place with the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder because my under eyes tend to crease the most, so I like to set them straight after applying concealer. For a little bit of spot coverage, I'm just going back with my foundation. Now using the Savvy Smooth Cream Foundation in Tan, which is a foundation quite a few shades darker than my skin tone, I'm using that as a cream contour. Using a contouring brush, I'm applying that along the cheekbones, temples and on the jawline. And that's really going to define those areas and bring them in. I'm also applying a little bit around my nose. Now taking the Savvy Heavenly Highlight Highlighting Stick, I'm applying that on the tops of the cheekbones and on my cupid's bow and a little on the bridge of my nose. Just to add light to those areas and really enhance them, especially bringing up the cheekbones, I'm going for a very glowy look. This is quite a champagne highlight with a little bit of a golden touch. Then taking more of a subtle highlight, this is the Australis Highlights in Pearl, and I'm applying that a little on the forehead and then a touch more just on the cheekbones. Then for powder, I'm using the Australis Ready Set Go Translucent Powder and I'm just applying that just a little bit on the T-zone, kind of on the bottom of the cheeks but not the top and I, I just want a really light powdering because I want to keep it glowy but I also want to lock in the liquid products. Now I'm using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer to prime my eyes to ensure that my eye makeup lasts the whole time I want to wear it and that it doesn't crease and stays in place. Then moving on to eyebrows, I am using a spoolie brush from Models Inc and then a gel eyeliner from Maybelline in brown and an angled brush to fill in my brows and then setting that all in place with the Ardell Brow Gel. For my base eyeshadow colour, I'm using a fluffy brush to apply a matte light baby pink uh, but more of a cream colour and then also a matte light tan, mixing them together and applying that all over my lid space. Then again using a fluffy brush I'm applying a light to medium matte chocolate brown colour in my crease as a transition colour but also to add a bit of warmth and definition. 
Then again on a fluffy brush I'm applying also into the crease and really diffusing it out and really blending it quite a lot. I'm using a matte light dusty rose colour. So a bit of a festive colour but then again still some warmth in the eyes. Then with the tip of a flat shader brush I'm just running that a little bit along the lower lash line focusing towards the outer corner. Then blend it out. Now for the main part of the look, which is the pink winged eyeliner. Now obviously if you have an opaque pink uh, liquid eyeliner yourself or gel or whatever, um, then go ahead and use that. I personally don't, so I'm first of all using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is a white cream pencil, and then I'm using a angled eyeliner brush. So I'm using that and the brush to create a winged liner on my upper lash line. Now I'm taking the Illamasqua Powder Eyeshadow in the colour Toxic and again that same brush and I'm going to apply that eyeshadow over the top of the cream white base that I used with the Jumbo Pencil and that will create the pink winged liner. Then taking a brown gel eyeliner, this is the same one I used in my eyebrows and again that angled eyeliner brush. I'm going to very precisely and carefully apply the gel eyeliner to my upper lash line very close to the lashes. You don't really want to cover up that pink, but that's just going to really ground it more and also define your eyes because that's kind of been lost with the use of the pink. Then again, using that brown gel liner, I'm going to apply a little bit of that, the same brush, on the lower lash line and kind of winging it out in a sense just underneath the eye and then we're going to blend that out later. Then taking the matte medium brown from before that we first applied in our crease and a precise gel eyeliner brush, I'm just applying that where I applied the brown gel eyeliner to blend it out and then also just sort of dipping it down a little like where we applied the gel liner and blending that as well which is kind of creating a little bit of a shadow to look like our upper lashes look longer because they're casting a shadow down. And then applying a mascara base from Daiso, which is kind of white clear base which lengthens the lashes in preparation for mascara. For the lower lashes, I'm using the Rimmel Sexy Curves Mascara. I'm now applying the CoverGirl Nature Luxe Mascara on my upper lashes, but also on my lower lashes. Then because the eyes have been pretty much kept matte, I'm using a shimmering shade from a Sephora quad as a highlight on the inner corner and then over the top of that more of a golden champagne highlight as the other one was more pearl and that's more of a satin finish. I'm using that underneath the brow and also on the inner corners. Then back to the face, I'm using this W7 matte bronzer and it's a bit more orangey. I'm using that on a fluffy Eco Tools powder brush and then applying that where I applied the cream contour. Less of a contour though, using it as more of just a bronzing up of the face, but still using the three E's for definition. And to blend that out a bit, I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection bronzer in light and a bit of a less dense fluffy powder brush. Gonna blend out the product, it's a little less pigmented but still has something on the brush to blend out the bronzer from before. I'm now applying a powder highlighter, this is the Ellie Makeup uh, highlighter and I'm using actually an Eco Tools foundation brush to precisely apply this along the tops of the cheeks to really lift it and give that glow. Uh, bridge my nose, a little on the cupid's bow, centre of the forehead and a touch on the chin as well. And then I'm also using a fan brush to further apply and blend out on the tops of the cheekbones. For blush I'm using the Ally Makeup Loose Mineral Crushed Blush in Spun Sugar and this is quite a kind of vibrant pink but also with quite a lot of highlight in it like the highlight I used before. I just applied that with a stippling brush for more of an airbrushed effect and more on the back of my cheeks. And now I'm using the Smooth Minerals Blush by Avon in Rose Radiance and I'm using that on more of a fluffier brush and more on the apples and then blending backwards. Now for lips, I'm starting out by lining my lips with the Crayolin 903 Nude Lip Liner and then lightly filling them in. I'm doing this very lightly, so this is just an option for the lips if you just want a pretty neutral matte nude lip. The shape I'm going for is a little bit pouty, subtle but pouty. So to emphasise that, I'm also using a little bit of the first bronzer I used on my face and a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just applying a bit of that underneath my bottom lip to emphasize the poutiness in them because it's Valentine's Day, kissing and stuff. 
Another option for the lips is just a classic clear gloss. The one I'm using is a little bit pink. It's pink in the tube, but pretty much clear. And I'm applying that over the nude lips. And this is a Stay Glossy Lip Gloss by Rimmel London. I'm mostly applying that on the center and then blending it out, which will again emphasize the poutiness in the lips. Then if more of a coloured gloss is your thing, I have this sample size of a NARS lip gloss in Priscilla, which is a bright, vibrant, kind of fuchsia hot pink. And the last option for the lips that I'll be showing you is a bright, hot pink, this is Max Candy Yum Yum, and it's a matte finish.